Hey everybody, Jane from Double Critical Saints here. Today I'm going to be showing you Freehan, as it's known. Um, what are you laughing? <laughs> Just the way you seem to like, so, like, like blonde all that intro. <laughs> it was fine. Um, so yeah, it's called Freehan because it's got permanent weight, you can only have free energy, and that does stick on both sides. So, kind of annoying, but the deck has plenty of ways to play things out for low cost. It's got auto when it attacks your draw. And for the Awaken, it's either on 5 or less, or if you have a blue Z battle card of cost 2 or more, and superhero in its character name. So, this one, you get 2 energy back, and then you go down to 5 and flip over. And on this side, it's got auto, once per turn. If all your energy is mono blue, when one of your blue battle cards adds to your Z energy, switch one of your energy to active mode. So doing either player's turn, the first time you Z charge, you get an energy back. Which is really useful. And it's got active minion from slash battle once per turn, drawn until you have three cards in your hand. Again, active during both players' turns. So, very useful. Uh, let's start with we've got the Z deck, where we have one copy of the Black Kamehameha Mighty Blast, which came in the anniversary. So, it's one cast, one ZNG, active battle, places the ZNG in the drop, moves cards from the game, choose one of your cards, gets 10k for the battle. Then choose one of your opponent's battle cards, edge cost of two or less, and place it at the bottom of your deck. And it's got a secondary active battle where you pay one blue. If the leader is blue and you place three of his energy in the drop, I remove from the game, you draw a card, you play a shadow token as a blocker, and then you give one of your cards 15 for the battle. So you can either give 10 by dropping one and get rid of a two cost, or you can give 15 by paying an NG dropping freeze energy, but then you draw and get a block token, so it's got an offensive skill and a defensive skill, which is really useful. Next we have three copies of the Goku Awakened Onslaught. So, auto, place the engine drop, and turn, remove, you send one of your opponents, five less to the bottom, and as an active main, watch turn, if you're mono blue and you ditch, an extra card, you draw and give him, 50, uh, give him crit for the turn. So then, it's just a bit of pressure, end of your turn, you send it to bounce all their things. And then we have three copies of our aforementioned Goku. So, two costs, two CNG, 4k power, deflect barrier. It does have an auto, which if you're blue and your opponent has 10 or more, well, 11 or more cards in their hand, they place cards from the hand to the bottom of the deck until they hit 10. It is terrible. It is a terrible auto. Um, but you have it for the active battle skill, limit 1. If your leader's character's name includes superhero and you have 3 or more energy and you remove this card from the game, you choose one of your blue battle cards with 2 or more character names and it gains 10k and jump strike for the battle. Um, so in this deck, you just target the Gohan Piccolo. Um, that's basically the only thing you get a target with it. It just gives you 10k and triple for a battle when you swing with your big gun. So, uh, start with the X cards. We've got two copies of Absolute Release Ball. Um, so, can play for these blue and your life is four less. If the card being played is for three or less, you send it to the other's hand and then you get one of your energy back. And you would be able to play it for free if you were colourless. Well, dual card, but we're not. So, it doesn't matter. Just a nice, simple um, count play. We've got three copies of D Magic. So, again, if you're blue, get your energy back. And then, Sparking Five, you can take a life to play the effect. So, it's just your classic staple negate for blue. we got Two copies of the Realm of the Gods Spirit Destroys. Angling is weird for some reason. Um, so, after battle, if you lead it and all your energy is blue, you give the card 10k for the battle, and then if it's your turn, choose one of your opponent's battle cards, and cost greater than the current energy, bounce to the bottom. If it's your opponent's turn, draw a card, choose one of their battle cards, and cost two or less, and place it to the bottom. So, ideally, you do it during your turn to send something big that they've played out early. If not, you can just get rid of a little thing and draw a card. We have 
three copies of Centibene. So, back to power during your opponent's turn, give one of the cards 5k for the turn, and then get two of your energy back. So, again, just another staple of blue. We have a single copy of the Ultra Instinct, Kamehameha. So, active battle, if it is blue, you choose one of your leaders or battle cards and it gets 15 from the battle. And then, if all your energy is blue, you apply the auto. So, during your turn, you draw a card, during your opponent's turn, you get one of your energy back. So, it's a 15k combo that will either draw your card or basically make itself a free combo, depending on when you play it. And then finally, we have two copies of the Chill Time of Reinforcement. So this is the block in the gate for blue. When you negate, play a token with blocker. If you're on five or less, you can play it by taking a life instead. So, just another staple card. Uh, going to the battle cards now, starting with our one cost. We have four copies of Pan Glimpse of Talent. So you've got barrier, also when you play a draw card, and an active main, you can place it on your opponent's field. Um, the main way you play her out is just infiltrate the piccolo, and then you get a draw a combo from there. That's why you need four of her. And then we have three copies of Goku Daily Diligence, and four copies of Vegeta Daily Diligence. So Goku on play draws you a card, the Vegeta lets you search top 7 for a superhero of cost 4 or less. And they both have an active battle, if your leader is the blue Gohan, you can play it from your hand. So you can swing, or your opponent can attack, go into the comboing step, you can go pay 1, play one of these, do the effect, and then immediately combo it, which is really useful. So you get a 1 cost that you can play out during battle, and it just makes better use of your energy. Um, so next, we got our two costs, which is just our super combo of the Vegeta, where you send one from your hand to the bottom deck if you're on four or less to draw two and gain 10k combo. There's not much point running any ever combo in the deck. Unless you have a bit of preference, but I just find the 4 Vegeta works out. So, why bother putting anything else in? And next, we got our 3 costs, which make up a good majority of the deck. And to start with, we've got 2 copies of Piccolo the Infiltrator. So you've got the Flight Dual Attack, 20k. All turn when it's played, you choose one of the following. So you can either give it barrier to the end of your opponent's turn. Or you can play a pound from your deck. Nine times out of ten, you're playing a pound just because why not? Uh, limit one, you pay two blue. If you lose blue, to pay them out. And an active main, paying one, you can discard it to play a pound from your deck. Then shop your deck. Um, you're not going to do that. Let's face it. There is no point doing that because you really don't need to. And. This could easily be a 4 of in the deck, it's just I have 2 because he's still a bit of an expensive card. So, but you can easily bump it up to 4 if you can. Next, we've got 4 copies of Gohan Power Unleashed. Oh, Unshackled. Yeah, that's not. Um, so, 3 cost 15k, it's got auto, pay 1 blue. If the leader is a superhero, at the end of the battle when it's received a combo, you, from your hand, you play it from your drop. So, that way you can have cards played out without having to have a huge amount of energy. And he's got active permit, in the one, pay one blue, places card in the drop, until the end of your opponent's next turn, your opponent can't attack with battle cards, and they choose one of their battle cards, edge cost of two or less, and place it to the bottom each time. So, you combo them out, so you combo, play it out, swing it, then do its skill, and then you have a floodgate in play, because your opponent has to keep sending their small stuff to swing anything. So then it just makes it really difficult, especially if they've got low board, or they're playing a board where everything that comes out is above two. Because 
let's face it, Angel Cost and cards aren't really a problem anymore. Everything has a cheaper way to play it. So, let's put that struggle on your opponent. Next, we've got two copies of Goku and Vegeta Immortal Rivalry. So, it's got the Vite 15k permanent when it's removed from battle, you remove from game. It's got an auto when it's played, you draw one card. And the main reason we've got it is the active battle, which is limit one, pain one blue. If your leader is blue, discards your Z energy and you discard a card from your hand. You use up to two mono blue cards with five key combo from your drop, which are skills to gate for the turn. Additionally, if three or more cards are in the combo area, you play this card from your Z energy. So, what you do is you throw this into a combo as soon as you can, chuck it Z energy. Then, you can throw a card from a hand to combo. Pay one, ditch one, combo two more cards from your drop, and then play this out and recoup the card you just discarded. And then from there, because you've got three in your combo, you can play this guy out. So, very useful. Again, something that's worth having a four of. I just haven't got around to getting more, but it can work at two because you've got ways searching. And once you see one, you basically leave it in there until you can play the skill. And get the most out of it. Our last free cost of the deck is four copies of Vegeta Interplanetary Training. So it's got 15k alternate one pay on blue. If you need it as blue go on superhero it's your turn. At the end of the battle where you use it says come from hand you can play it from your drop. So again it's a card that plays up from comboing and then when it's played you either you choose one following, so your opponent places a card from hand to the bottom, or your opponent places a battle card, edge cost four less, to the bottom of the deck. Annoyingly, if they don't have a battle card they can choose, they can still pick that ability. And just be like, oh, okay. Well, no, you pick. So, you just go, okay, well, send a card from hand. That's what I do most of the time, but anyway, I just send a card from their hand. Because, hand disruption. More important, in my opinion. Um, you know, sort of four costs now. We've got two copies of Goku Black Mortal Be Gone. Or Mortals Be Gone. Um, again, this is just a blue staple. 20k double strike. So, auto when it's played, you draw one card, choose an opponent's battle card, four or less, send to the bottom. And it's got active battle, limit one, pay one blue. If the leader is a mono blue card, or he's a Masu or Goku Black, and you have three or more ZNG. You play this out. So hit freeze the NG, pay blue, play this out, draw a card, spin the card, and then you have a 20k double striker. Again, something you can run more of in the deck. I just find that two is a nice handy number. And then we have four copies of the Gohan Raffle Awakening. So it's 19k of dual attack. So auto when it's played, choose from one of your opponent's non pan bout cards, range cost of five less, place it to the bottom, and active main look one pain on blue. If your opponent has a pan superhero in play, you play this card from your hand. So you get the pan to play through your own skill, you can just go active main, here you go, have pan, and then play this out. And you have a 19 dual attacker. But it's also kind of a nice throwaway card, because Again, you can only go to three, so you have to be careful with charge. And finally, we have our eight costs. And to start with, we have three copies of Gohan and Piccolo. So, it's a blue yellow, it's got 19k, it's got energy exhaust, dual attack, limit one. So, if you have more than one copy, only one can dual attack. You've got auto limit one, when it attacks, you draw a card. If your opponent has a battle card in play, it gains 5k for the battle. And active main once turn, if you have 5 or more ZNG or 2 or more Z battle cards in play, you choose one of your opponent's battle cards, age cost with 3 or more, ignoring barrier, spin it to the bottom. So it's just a nice, quick, easy way to remove cards. And it's got active battle paying a blue or yellow. If your leader is blue or yellow and you have 3 or more blue and or yellow cards in your combo area, you play it from your hand. So it has a cheap play. It can be used in blue and yellow decks, and then as long as you've got enough ZNG, you can tap into its other skill, and then you just have a nice dual attacker. 
And the last card of the deck is the Secret Rare Supreme Kai of Time. So it's got 40k um, ultimate because it's Secret Rare. If it's removed from the game, well, if it leaves battle it leaves the game. So active main, pay one, choose this card and all of your opponent's battle cards and using cards, send them to the owner's warps. Uh, active battle, pay one. If you have three or more energy, play this card from your hand. If you do, your opponent can't attack with leaders or unisons for the turn. So the idea is, the active battle, you play it out during your opponent's turn, stop them from swinging their leader cards and unisons. And then, during your turn, you hit them with a 40k, then go right, pay one, get rid of your field. And all you do is lose her, nothing else. So, very good board control card. So, with all that being said, that is my freehand deck profile. Um, as always, thanks for watching, leaving thoughts in the comments below. Hit the sub button, and we'll see you next time. Bye!